Hello, hello everybody, happy Friday. I saw somebody was on here, I think it was Karen. Hey Karen, how are you? Happy Friday to you as well. So as you hop on, say hello, let me know who is joining us today. I am Deborah Harrison with Simply Sweet and Ink Designs and I have a fun project to share with you today. It is the last latte love project that I'm gonna do before my Sweet Creations Club because that is the focus bundle for April. It's kit. And so, but I wanted to kind of backtrack a little bit because last week I shared with you a really fun project making the little mini coffee maker, right? So let me go ahead and get this back in play. So if you remember, I made this last week. Y'all obviously really loved it because I had over 200 people subscribe to my email list since Friday. And chances are several of you did not get the project sheet that you were hoping to get. Uh, some of you did reach out to me asking for the project sheet after you had sub subscribed, so I did send it to you. Um, however, if you were one of those people who subscribed last week in hopes of getting to uh, getting last week's project sheet, if you will go down tomorrow, my email goes out at 3 o'clock Central Time on Saturdays. And so if you scroll all the way down to the very bottom of tomorrow's email, I always have the prior week's project sheet and video link at the very bottom of my, my email. So if you missed a week, you can always catch up by going to the very bottom. That's that's where I, I have that uh, last week's project. So don't worry if you didn't get it. Now, if you happen to come across a project, let's say you're catching this video maybe weeks, months later, and you subscribe and you want that project sheet, just reply to your welcome email when you sign up for my email list. Just give me the name and the date of the project sheet that you're looking for, and I'm happy to go on ahead and send that to you. So just because you missed a project sheet doesn't mean that I won't give, go back and give it to you. I just ask that you are part of my email list because it is a very special perk for those who are part of that email. All right, so I just want to kind of get you caught up on that. Welcome, everybody. Hello, Elizabeth. Thanks for joining me. All right, so today we're going to make a really fun project with the, it's actually the Happy House Plants uh, project kit. It's an all-inclusive kit. I'll tell you a little bit about that in a moment. But we're going to use the really fun projects from the latte, or I guess it's called a Little Latte Suite. The bundle is actually called Latte Left. So it's kind of a mouthful there, a lot of lattes. So the if you're uh, the latte the sorry a little latte sweet part of that is the latte love bundle, and it includes the stamp set and the dies, and also too one of the items or the products in as part of that suite is this really fun a little latte designer series paper, and so uh, this actually I'm sharing with you six by six samples, but actually they come twelve by twelve sheets. There's two of each of the six patterns for a total of 12 sheets. So I wanted to show you what they look like just to give you a glimpse, some really fun coffee and just neutral type patterns. I love that splatter. I think that's so cute. And then also two, uh, let's see if you can see that. That's some little tiny little cups. And then we have coffee beans and we've got some plaid. So you can use both sides. Now this one, obviously I don't have my six by six sheet. This is the last of what I had here. So a really fun little swirl. What I wanted to show you is on this particular pattern and on this one, you can actually use some of the dies from the die set. For this one, you can use and cut out the little circle. So if you want to Use your own card stock, you can do that. You can also too use this one that has the handle and you can cut out those little cups. And then also too, you've got two each of the little clump of coffee beans and then single coffee beans, you have three of them. You can actually cut out, let's see if I can get it oriented right. If you turn it, it does fit eventually. There we go. So you can actually cut out those little coffee beans and you can cut out the little single coffee beans with those particular dies and the die set. So I just wanted to share that with you in case you didn't know. I always love it when our dies also coordinate with our designer series paper. All right, let's go ahead, let's get this out of the way. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the foundation of today's project. It actually comes from, it's called the Happy House Plants Project Kit. It is an all-inclusive, super, super easy kit. And so what you get in that is you get like a, a packet, and I'm going to share with you here in a moment, uh, what it comes with four frames that are six by six. These are a plastic frame 
What's nice about them is one, they have a nice white edge around them or frame. So they're really neutral for a lot of home decor. But also too, you can either hang them with a little hook or you can stand it up. You can stand it up this when I, I guess you can only stand it up that way. So you've got two options for displaying it. Now you also too, you get the little cutouts to make your plant projects and it also comes with four mats to be able to put on your frame now i'm going to show you what the projects look like as they are in the happy house plants kit but i will tell you just to give you a heads up these sentiments and these little bling those were my little extras that i added that is not included in the kit so if you want to it, spruce it up a little bit, you can do that. Those are some suggestive ways that you can do that. So also too, you have this one, and of course it would have a mat that went over it. And then you have this one as well with the mat, just a nice, clean, simple look. But what I wanted to do to kind of show you something that would really kind of elevate these to the next level is you can cut out some mat frames. I'm gonna show you what you can do here is you can actually take and you can layer them. Doesn't that give just a nice edging to that? And then also too, you have this one that you could do as well. So dig through your designer series paper and find what kind of patterns that maybe you have that might work well and just really enhance these plant uh, images here. Now we are going to, for today's project, I am gonna show you how to make this mat. And I'm gonna share with you a couple of options that I came up with. You may think some are too much. Uh, some you may like, some you may not. You may not want anything at all. So here's an example of what we can do for today's project. If we wanted to kind of add a fun little uh, twist to it, we could add a mat, that's with the coffee beans. Uh, you could possibly do maybe the little uh, gingham there. This one I think is kind of cool to use, kind of gives it a kind of gives a nice border to it. I probably wouldn't use the back because that is the same pattern unless you just really want those on top of each other. Um, you could do that. That's a little, uh, that could work. It's a little bold. I do kind of like this one. I think that's really cute. Just really kind of springy. But just think about all the designer series papers that maybe you have in your stash that you could use to give a really cute little mat to your framed project. So I will share with you how to make this mat here uh, when we finish today's project. Uh, let's see, so let's go ahead, let's get our supplies in, in over here. Now I do wanna remind you that tomorrow at three o'clock central time, I do have the project sheet going out for today's project, step-by-step -step instructions with the uh, pictures on how to be able to make it as well as how to make it with the mat. So you'll have just a quick tutorial there to remind you how to make the mat. And then you'll have this video to come back and watch. All right, so let's put this over to the side. Hello, Anita. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Sarah. All right, so I wanted to share with you, like I said, it comes with four of the six by six frames in the, it, it's actually, here's the box. I don't think I showed you the box. It's a really nice, cool little cube box. So all your supplies fit inside there, the four frames, the images, the cutouts for the happy house plants. You also too, is you get these plastic sheets that kind of like dust covers are for, or get basically they replace glass. Instead, they're plastic or acetate. Now, when you get these, they're going to look like they're scratched and you're going to think, oh my gosh, it's scratched. But what you'll do is you'll carefully take away, there's a little film there and you take away the first one to like, oh my gosh, it's still scratched. Don't worry. There is another film on the other side. So all you got to do is just peel back both sides and you'll get a really nice, beautiful little clear acetate piece. Okay. So I just wanted to let you know about that. Those are really good to kind of protect your uh, framed pieces. So keep the dust and dirt and everything from getting to them. All right, let me go on ahead and let's get this, get my glasses on so I can see a little bit better. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open this up and I want to show you the, what I like to do when I'm opening these up because on the back there are some prongs and these are kind of like kind of pointy and they kind of hurt. So I'll take something like a, um, a non-sharp knife and I will gently just pry these up and I don't always pry all of them up because uh, these, as you know, these are not like the most sturdy. They will in time, they will snap off. So we don't want to open them and close them too often. So what I'll do is I'll open that up 
take this out and there's my frame. Now I'm just going to leave these off to the side until we make our make our uh, project today. So we're going to start off with the background piece and that is sadly they're retiring or actually it's gone. They're no longer in stock. The uh, thoughtful expressions dies. However, if you don't have the thoughtful expressions dies, you weren't fortunate enough to get them. If you have like a scallop circle in your stash, that would work as well. Hello, Mary. Hey, Simone. All right. So we're going to start off with our scallop circle here. And you have two options. You can take crumb cake ink or early espresso. And we're going to do a little bit of sponging. Now you have, I'm going to share with you what they look like so that you have a point of reference. If you choose to use early espresso, it's obviously going to be darker. Or you can go with crumb cake. Now the one thing about early espresso is if you want to do that, you can actually use it to get a lighter shade when you're stamping. Uh, that leaves it where you only need one ink pad. So here is where I would stamp full on with early espresso. But if I wanted to stamp off, it would be a lighter shade that's almost similar to crumb cake. So if you're down, you only have one ink pad, then I would say early espresso would be the one to use. I'm going to use crumb cake for my shading, though, to give it that kind of a, an antique -y look. And so all we're going to do is we're going to open our ink pad and I'm going to move my project out of the way so I don't get ink on it and we're just going to go around now you can use a dauber I'm using a sponge that I have from a long time ago and we're just going to go around and ink that up I feel like it just gives a nice outline to this frame here and then I'm going to actually I still need this so next what I'm going to do is right here I stamped two coffee rings and so we're going to find where the top I want my top of my circle to be there so I'm going to take and I'm just going to stamp and crumb cake my little coffee rings and then I'm going to kind of rotate it and stamp it that way so it looks like somebody set their coffee down and got a little bit of coffee on their on their like doily there all right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our elements. And so I'm going to take, now remember I told you you could actually die cut out from the designer series paper, these cute little cups. So we're going to pop it up with some dimensionals. I know, Anita, I am so sad that they are retiring those thoughtful expression styles. I was hoping they would still be in stock, but they are like no longer even in stock. They're not even in the store anymore at all. All right. So the next what I'm going to do is, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and let's add this on to, let's go ahead and add it on to our frame here or onto our image so that I know proper placement where to put my sentiment. So I'm going to pop up my deco circle here again with some dimensionals. All right, so let's go on ahead. Let's figure out. There's the top. Now, what I like to do is I like to use the mat that came in the Happy House Plants kit as my guide so that I can get it centered properly. I think that looks pretty good. Now, next, what I did is I die cut out from the Stylish Shapes dies. I die cut out with the largest banner in Crumb Cake cardstock. Just a cute little banner there, and I stamped the sentiment from the Latte Love stamp set. And we're going to pop this up with dimensionals. Now for this, I'm just going to add dimensionals on each end. And then I'm just going to put it right here towards the bottom. And I'm going to have the dimensionals just kind of catch right there on the ends. Then next what I did is I die cut out two cups. Now the cups do come in two orientations. We have one for our right-handed people and then one for the left-handed people. So I did one of each. And then I also die cut out these little coffee little rings here or ovals. And so we're just going to glue those on. Oh, I put way too much glue. The other day, my son was helping me put together some pillow gifts. And I had to give him a lesson on multi-purpose liquid glue because he didn't understand when I said just a little bit that he really only needed a little bit. And then I just went and I just squished a whole bunch on myself. All right, let's go ahead and add our coffee rings on here. 
And let's put the other one. Okay, now the cool thing, if you want these little coffees, let's see if I can share with you. They actually, they have a slit. So you can, if you want, you can stack them inside each other like this if you want. But I kind of wanted both of my coffees to show my coffee rings. So I'm going to put, pop it up with a dimensional. We're going to put one kind of going this way. Let's see. And then one going the other way. Stack it right there on top. And then what I did is I stamped the spoon and I die cut it out. And then I'm just going to glue this on underneath at an angle, just right underneath my spoons right there. Let's see, what else do I have to do? Oh, one last thing. So remember I told you you could die cut out the little coffee beans. So I die cut a little clump of coffee beans, add just a tiny bit of glue. And I think we need some coffee beans here in the corner to finish up our little framed project. It wants to stick to me instead of my project. All right, the last thing before we put it in the frame and I show you how to make that mat is I'm going to just bling this up with a couple of our swirl dots. Let's see, let's try this one. All right. All right, so we have our project completed, but we want to kind of add that mat to it. So I wanted to share with you how to make a mat. It's really, really simple. So the first thing I did is I started off with my mat and I took a ruler and I measured what is the width of my mat. In this case, it measures seven eighths of an inch. You can make it one inch if you want, but I'm going based on the measurements that was with the mat that was already included. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a six by six piece of designer series paper. Let's bring in our trimmer. And what you're going to do, and this is a really quick tutorial in the uh, instructions that's going to come in tomorrow's email. What you're going to do is you're going to take the right side and you're going to line it up at the seven inch mark right there on the left. The one thing I love about the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer is you've got that little section on the right for those really small measurements. So now what I want to do is I also want to take my little cutting guide here, make sure it's at 7 8 and then I'm also going to make sure before I press down that I have it at 7 8 also on this mark. Then I'm going to press down and I'm going to go all the way down to 5 and 1 8 because if we have a 6 inch piece of paper, and we take away seven eighths, that gives us five and an eighth. So we're gonna do the same thing on all four sides. Again, line it up at seven eighths. It gets easier as you go along. Line it up at seven eighths and come all the way down to five and an eighth. And we're gonna do it two more times. And one more. And like I said, you can do this with any kind of pattern paper that you have or even cardstock if you wish. And then we're just going to pop it out. There you go. Easy peasy, right? So let's go on ahead just for some fun. Let's put this in our frame. This is the one we made today. Now you can use the mat that came with the Happy House plants just to give it a little more stability. And then we're just going to put this, pop it in here into our frame, Oops, put it under there. And then I'm gonna add my back. Oops, need it to go that way. And then I'm just gonna press down. I'll go back and I'll finish pressing the rest down. But what do you think? Is that cute? So we have it, we can do it with the white mat if we want a nice clean look, or we can add the mat if we want. So I wanted to share with you alternate ways so that you can pull in your designer series paper doesn't have to be from the latte suite. It could be something else. And um, just find something that goes really well with your own home decor. Now, I wanted to share with you, and I only have a few spots left. I am offering a Latte Love framed kit. It will come in the box like this. You will get the actual 
four frames. You'll get the um, happy house plants. This is what comes with it. All those little cutouts. You have the adhesive to pop up your elements. You'll have the four frames, the mats and all that. But also too is um, I am including a project kit that includes a half a pack of the Latte Designer Series paper. It includes the cutouts that you'll need to make the projects. Oh gosh, yes, the zinnias. Actually, I, I really have been thinking the zinnias would look awesome. So hang tight, Jan. I'm gonna talk more about that in a second. Um, also too, uh, you're gonna get two strips of, and you can barely see them, but they're right there, the swirl dots. And the reason you're only getting two strips is because I had just enough for the kit and that's it. So that was the way the pricing was based on just getting two strips instead of a full pack. But if you would like to do this, the projects uh, will make these four really fun framed prints with the latte suite. And I think I have maybe three spots left mainly because some of the items are on back order and I can't order any more yet. So I'm having to be very conservative in how many kits I can do. The cost of the kit with the full frames, you know, the Happy House Plants kit with um, the pre-cut supplies, the designer series paper is $49. If you need it shipped, it is an additional $12 to ship it to you. Now, if you're part of my Sweet Creations Club, I did send you by email probably the other week a coupon code to save five dollars off your shipping so if you can't find that code and you need it just message me or email me i'll be happy to send that code to you because you've already paid shipping on your april kit and i will just mail this with it so i'm going to give you credit back for the five dollars you already paid so that you're not paying that twice let's see what else did i want to share with you oh yes okay so next week you mentioned this gm um Next, actually next Friday, if I do my math correctly, is actually the last day to get my April Sweet Creations Club featuring the Latte Love Bundle. But I'm actually the next day on the 6th is when the new subscription period starts for my May kit. And I've already designed it. It's going to be featuring the Simply Zinnias Bundle. So Yes, Jan, I think you're totally right. This would be like stinking cute, wouldn't it, to be able to use these frames with that Simply Zinnia. So come back next week. I will have a project sharing with you the Simply Zinnias bundle and that really beautiful paper. It is coming back in stock. I know it's on back order right now, but it's coming back in stock like mid-April. All right, guys, I'm going to check your comments real quick. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Mary Alice. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'm just looking real quick in case I missed a question. Okay, you like the, uh, Lisa said she liked the orange. I guess that's the matte. That's kind of my favorite too, out of all of them. It gives a nice, really pretty spring look, spring summery look, but a lot of it's just gonna depend on your decor. Okay, you like the coffee beans on the coffee splatter. See, everybody has a different uh, idea of what they like and they all look cute. All right, guys, I don't think I'm missing anything. Sometimes those are the question right at the end and I miss it. Ah, see, there you go. Sarah just asked a question. And Sarah is asking, are you shipping the Latte Love class on the 15th? I actually am hoping to ship them before the 15th. Um, I only have enough supplies for my current club members. I lucked out and got what I needed before some of the items went on back order. And so uh, you should be fine. <laughs> I think I have enough for everybody. I hope that answers your question, Sarah, that yes, I will be shipping the Latte Love class on the 15th or actually before is, is my plan. Simone, I will message you the code. So if you're talking about the shipping code for the combined shipping. I will do that. Oh, yes, Lisa, they would totally look cute in a kitchen, wouldn't it? And the nice thing is you could swap them out. You can swap them out during the seasons as summer comes or as the holidays come. You can swap out just using those six by six frames. All right, guys, so I'm going to take off. I hope that you all have a wonderful Easter. I hope that you get to spend some time with family. And we will see you next Friday. Y'all take care. Bye, guys.